rapid and transformational change. That's what the United Nations says is necessary to stop the Earth's temperature from reaching catastrophic levels, if indeed we can. A new report predicts that the planet will heat up by 3.2 degrees for the year 2100, twice the target the country set in the Paris Climate Accord. Now, tackling the crisis will take coordination from individuals, governments and businesses. IKEA says it's investing heavily in changes to its business model and to be more environmentally friendly. The latest earnings from the company show the investments are cutting into profits, but none the wise. Jim Bitterman spoke to the CFO of IKEA's parent company, who says that's a price they're prepared to pay. We feel actually quite proud that we are both performing and transforming. That idea of transforming, last year you launched into a major sort of retake on how you do your business, right? We are changing a lot of things and then we are basically working in three areas to make IKEA more affordable for the many people, to keep IKEA more convenient uh, for the many people, and thirdly, uh, to work in our sustainability agenda because we have decided to become climate positive. The idea of being uh, uh, available to people, more available, the reason this store exists, the city center stores, are, that's part of that concept. It's not uh, going from brick and mortar to online. Uh, it's about the combination of everything. So we are expanding IKEA in the cities by having uh, smaller IKEAs inside the cities and to make it more convenient. But also we are offering a wide range of services Online business can be tricky. Sometimes you as a customer wants to have the convenience of uh, online, but you know the beauty of IKEA as well is about touch and feel, it's about dreams, and it's about inspiration. That's why the role, whether it is in, in outside the city or like this one inside the city, will keep playing a super important role. You're showing all the advantages of being a private company as opposed to a public company, because you don't have to justify your spending on sustainability at all. We have decided to become climate positive by 2030, and we are doing this by three things. One is that the, 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 the way that the IKEA products are designed, building circularity in the way the products are designed, then the second dimension is about the, the way that the products are used by the customer. And the third dimension, an important one, we are investing massively in sustainability. For example, we have invested 2.5 billion euros in renewable energy, in wind and solar. We have 1.6 million of solar panels, both outside and on the roof of our buildings but also we own today and operate 524 wind turbines. And you know what is a good thing? That we get a good return out of this. So it's good business to be a good business. It's also a profitable story for IKEA. It is, we are a long term company and then we don't think in quarters, but in generations. How do you answer the critics, some of the critics who say you encourage crazy, wild spending by consumers. I just was struck by the Christmas advertising. This place ain't blessed. This place is a mess. Disgusting. No, you don't deserve no gas. In here. I, I love uh, uh, IKEA ads, eh? because they are, uh, they are genuine, and they are talking to you, not to, to your soul, not to your brain. Uh, many of them are connecting, are connecting the brand, but also what is important for you. A, a future of unbridled growth and also is a company ever going to go public? Imbar Kampra, the founder, mm -hmm. he wanted to give eternity to IKEA. Eh? He said that IKEA should be eternal and should be owned by the many. Eh? Uh, uh, so our structure allow us to think in generation and the long term. So this is uh, not an option today. <laughs>